Okay, so I've put in as much as I can put in. Some of the extra features that will be available later are hinted at, like viewing the lethal ranges from A to A, the ability to create your own A to A, uh, well, not air to air, from your own anti-aircraft. Now, the reason I've done this is because I simply cannot put everything from every sim into this. It's just not possible because there's so many. That being said, you can actually create a custom aircraft. So if you want to use it with IL-2 Stormavik or whatever, you can put in a DA-40 if you wanted to. Now, you don't have to put in all the details, just the ones for the calculations, which I'm assuming you're going to want to use um, this for the calculations. That's part of the why I've made this. Um, now, you've got little converters here as well. So if you want to change it from meters to feet or, um, you know, US gallons to pounds. But I'm using uh, 6.75 density. So there's just warnings on there that, to let you know, you know, I can't account for absolutely everything, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> so <laughs> that being said, you've seen me load a map so many times. What we'll do is we'll load a map plan and a roster. Um, that'll have everything in there. Now, a pilot roster, I've put my own little bit of, you know, fun in there. Uh, so if you want to view the roster, see, it's a lot less professional than normal. Um, but I thought I'd do something fun at least for that because the, the roster is not a huge thing. Now, like I said, you can put in as much information or as little information as you want. You don't have to go the whole hog. That's what I'm trying to, to do with this application. So, I haven't put in protections for certain things. Uh, it, actually, the best way to demonstrate that would be if we go to edit airfield details. So we've got LA airfield base. Uh, so if we go to airfields and data, and we'll just open this back up again, not edit save plans, where do I go? Edit airfield details, okay. So you can actually see that the airfield is there. I've put that in. now. To kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about is, say for instance, you want to put in ILS. Now this isn't necessarily used for ILS, but you can if you wanted to. For runway 9, you can put down that it's 1150 and you can add that as a radio channel. So if you wanted to, there's they're not, they're features, but they're features that, you know, I've not planned for. You don't have to use this like precisely. I've tried to make it as robust as possible. So, yeah. And what we'll do, we'll just have a quick look at the... Uh, actually, we'll have a look at the saved plan that I've got in here. So let's have a look at the Hornet. So the Hornet is in orange because we're less than half an hour fuel and then eventually uh, we run out of fuel at the red line here. So if we go to saved data, actually we'll just do data on this one. So you can see that by the end of this leg, uh, you've only got 460 pounds left. And yeah, I'm going to change those um, tool tips because the tool tips are for the older version. I might actually get rid of them completely. So what we've got here uh, is just telling you that uh, you'll be there in 25 minutes. So it's a 25 minute total. So that's time of arrival is 25 minutes. So that's nine minutes. It doesn't give you the time for the leg. Uh, if you want the time for the leg, I think you can find that somewhere else. I've put in so many features, I can't even remember. But if you want, you can also put, tick the box for Zulu time. So as you can see, he's arriving here at nine minutes while he's flying, but Zulu time's 14 minutes. So what that means uh, is I've actually put in, let's finish editing that. I've actually put in uh, oh, yeah, we'll need to actually edit the plan in order to see that information because you can change it. We'll go advanced flight plan details. Now, mission Zulu time is five minutes. So if we have a look at uh, the first one, which is an A10. So this is all green, obviously, because he's got plenty of fuel. Now, the, also the distances are incorrect because I haven't actually set the ruler to this map. I've shown you a million times how to set the ruler. Um, but if we go into the advanced flight plan details, you'll be able to see 
uh, let's just go to the actual pilot here just so you can see how that works so you can add in the extra crew if you've if you've put in a bomber or something you've put in the details for like a b2 whatever uh i'll to Stormovic if you want uh, you can actually put in crew if you want to fly with mates or whatever um, yeah do a full mission you can actually plan this out in here before you do it which is pretty cool um, so this one Zulu time is zero so this is the first aircraft taking off uh, as you can see it is one aircraft so you can add another aircraft if you want and then add a pilot to it so you can have, you know, multiple aircraft on the one flight, but you just can't have multiple different aircraft on the one flight. So you wouldn't be able to do this with a Hornet and an A-10 at the same time because it's got to calculate the fuel and all that kind of stuff. So there are some limitations. Now, like I said, you don't have to put in all this information if you don't want to. You can just use it very simply by, you know, selecting or creating an aircraft and then just finding out how long you can fly. Um, before you run out of fuel but if you want you can put in radio frequencies the whole shebang um, if you know the weather uh, or you know some details about the weight and that kind of thing you can actually change this for the legs if you wanted to so you don't always have to be going at 220 knots with uh, 50 uh, pounds per minute if you want to you can change that up so you can get a more accurate view of of what it is you're doing so the first waypoint that you put down if you put it down on an airfield it will actually pick it pick that up uh, when it generates the briefs however the last waypoint you put in it won't automatically put it as a land because it doesn't know that that is the last waypoint you've put in but if you set it to landing and it's within the little cursor area here from the airfield see when the cursor changes to a cross it'll actually pick up that you're landing at an airfield and it will do the same with entry and exit points uh, obviously it won't calculate anything past that point um, but if you wanted to you can actually set this for a rearm and refuel and then create another waypoint afterwards so you essentially create a gap leg that doesn't get calculated and it's not visible and then you can go for another fly uh, you can also add in the time for that. So if you wanted to rearm and refuel, give yourself 10 minutes to do it, uh, you can put that in and that'll also calculate that. So it'll get you close to the times that you want. Um, now, if we go finish edit and we go to plan overview, create brief. So this is where you'll be saving everything. Now you don't have to save the brief if you don't want to, but you can generate the basic data, which will tell you everything uh, to do with timing and the most pertinent details that you need to know. So uh, we've got a one ship A10C and we've got a one ship Hornet. Um, that hasn't updated. I'll have to fix that because it's not coming up with Zulu 5 brief. But basically what it's doing is it's saying that this will take off at zero. So that's when the mission timer starts and this will be five minutes after the mission timer starts. So all of the Zulu time is adjusted. Um, according to mission zero so uh, if you wanted to line up where they meet up you can do that so the allotted time for the AA refuel which I haven't actually set out but uh, that's waypoint five so if we wanted to uh, we can add like a little edit air refueling thing there which we we can do um, but this will also warn you that there's bingo fuel on leg three before 34 minutes so if you wanted to, uh, let's say, for instance, if we go to save data in legs, now we can see that this one, let's just do for the first one so we don't mix things up. So where did he say? Waypoint three. Which one's air to air refueling? Let's have a look. Air to air refuel, 10 minutes. Okay, so if we wanted to, we can add a contact. Uh, we can put a friendly air tanker oh which one do, uh, i think that does both so we can we can put a tanker there if we wanted to um just so you know for, for mission planning or whatever or maybe there is a tanker there and you want to organize your plan around getting to the tanker and then off to your mission and that kind of thing so 
Um, if we switch this to legs, it might be easier to see. So we've got a boom and basket. Uh, say for instance, we want to put in friendly tanker, which is the 135, which I think is just the basket. No, that is a boom. So, uh, you know, you can stick this in here if you wanted to. Now, if you wanted to edit that as well, uh, maybe we don't want delete map markers and diverts. So we've got the physical uh, notes in case we want to add notes. Like say, for instance, uh, we've got a point of interest here. Maybe we'll call this bullseye. Maybe this is where the bullseye is. Um, or if you want to add uh, a note, um, you know, like do not, cross uh, border blah 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 something like that um, you can go in and edit those if you want um, delete them if you've put them in by mistake but say for instance we want to get get rid of this uh, 135 MPRS so we'll click on that we'll delete it and now we're just left with the friendly air and we've got the notes in here which um, and divert which you've seen how the diverts work as well so if you pick a field or something um it'll just come up safe landing strip or whatever but if you manage to hit a divert on an entry or exit point uh, or the airfield it'll come up as the airfield and give you all the information for the airfield so um that's basically where we're at now i'm just doing some testing making sure everything's as good as I can get it. Like I said, most of the error correction uh, is going to be, uh, actually, let's get rid of the map notes, map related waypoints. See, as you can see, you can switch them on and off as you, as you like. Um, if you wanted to, you don't have to see any of that. Now, um, once it's okay and I'm happy with it, I'll submit it and see if we can get that released on Steam. Um, but until then, uh, it's just going to be a lot of testing, just making sure that uh, it, it works. Now, like I said, it, I'm trying to be as robust as possible. There's some extra features in there, like putting in the ILS or, you know, little bits that you can kind of mix and match. I'm not expecting you to use this as perfectly as possible in the, the way it's intended to be used. Uh, there is a little bit of opening in there. Um, so most of, like like I said, most of the error correction is if you just put down a flight leg, like one leg or, or two legs, you can save that. Um, and it will um, function as best it can. Uh, you know, you don't even need to attach an aircraft to it if you don't want to, which I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that. But it'll, it'll give you the distances and, and that kind of thing. It just won't be able to work out fuel because it doesn't know your fuel details but anyway uh what we'll do i don't know if i showed you uh the airfield all right so say for instance uh you want to see the plates uh, did i show you this how there's no plates attached to that but if you wanted to uh we can go into edit airfield details we can add plates if we wanted to so uh here i was testing deleting plates but what we'll do we'll just pick something that's small that better be a small one that's 21 meg. Let's just pick a small one. 27, Nevada, 23. Good grief. How big are these? Ah, one megabyte. Okay. All right. So you can add a plate if you wanted to, as long as a JPEG, PNG, whatever. Um, it won't do documents like, you know, whatnot, PDFs and that kind of thing. So we've got one of one saved. Now, because I've tested that, uh, you know, if you go ahead and delete that or move that file it'll just remove it it won't crash but you know if you want to you can view plates now um on your kneeboard as long as the airfield's there but anyway um that's about as far as we're gonna go before i bring out like version 1.5 or whatever this will be the version that gets released uh in the meantime um we'll uh, i'll work on adding uh, while I'm doing the glitches and fixing things up after I've released it, then I'll start working on the radar and lethal ranges and creating your own air-to-air, -air, I mean anti-air 
Uh, so you'll be able to add flak from like World War II or whatever. As, as long as you've got the details, you'll be able to stick it in. It'll give you the, you know, lethal altitudes, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Oh, and it looks like the only thing you can't turn off is the map markers, which is fine. Because I wasn't intending for you to be able to actually remove that. But say, you know, you can put in a clamshell if you want. We'll put a clamshell over here. Yeah. So that's where we're up to now. Uh, once that's solved, we'll, um, we'll apply to get that put up on Steam. So you guys can hopefully use it if you're looking forward to it. I know I'm looking forward to releasing it. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.